today we got that Tecno Command 20 Pro. This device has a screen damaged or broken. It was obvious for me and the customer told me to replace a new one for it. All right, the back it's made from glass, it seems. This back is stuck with the adhesive. It took, li it took long time to remove that. Whatever who made that adhesive, he's amazing. That adhesive is very, very strong. I never seen that strong adhesive. It took me about 30 minutes to open the pack. So I skip and speed it a little bit so you won't feel boring while you are watching. All we have is a gap so we can put something inside and we can then swipe or scratch over it. That's all what we need. I'm also using alcohol. It's isopropyl 90-90% with that syringe inside that syringe. So it helps me to make the adhesive soft so it will make the job easier to remove that bag glass also be careful not to paint it so much otherwise it will be broken all right keep putting the alcohol it's not that risky to the phone but not making it into the alcohol or in a bottle of alcohol all right so we needed to reach the adhesive and that's all. Also I used my heating gun so I can remove or make soft the adhesive in the circle of these cameras. So I can't reach there. So I took the heating gun to help me to remove that area. Yeah, this is the phone let me feel stress while I'm working on it. It took me long time to open it and long time to fix it. And it should not take all that long time. About hour and a half to repair this device. For what? All right, the back has been removed. Remove these stickers. You can also remove all these stickers and then you can put another one. Start removing all the screws. We need to open it. Also, don't forget to remove the SIM card tray. I don't, I don't remember if I have already removed it or not, but you have to, rem to remove the SIM card tray. All right, there is some screws. It's under that adhesive. I couldn't remove it or not I couldn't remove it it didn't remove by itself so there is two screws at the left area there I couldn't reach them because I can't see but I thought there must be two screw down there all right uh, to open it you have to remove it so I'm going to start detach the frame from the housing and then I can't see there is stuck in there. So there must be screws down there. But I couldn't feel them, but I should be able to remove them. I don't want to remove that adhesive because when I put the back glass again, it will help me to stuck with the back glass. So I, I don't have to put a new adhesive. I like the adhesive came from the company. If I don't need to put another one, I don't put. Because every customer know when the open when the device is being opened, it will be no longer water resistant. So, all right, the phone is removed. There is no flex cable connected to the power button, so there is no flex cable. You can just detach it from the housing. 
All right, let's start removing the battery. Unplug it. I don't know what was that cable was unplugged. So I'm going to test the screen again if it's working or not before removing it. All right, it's not working. I don't know if you can see, but it's uh, messy, the screen inside. I'm able to see it. All right, this is the new screen. I'm gonna told you something is very important about this screen. This screen is not original. It's a LCD or Incel, came from Incel company called Incel. All right, this screen isn't original. So when I put the screen on the frame, it was a gap between the frame and the screen. And that game isn't good. And this screen doesn't support the fingerprint sensor. All right, these two are very important. All right, I forgot one thing. When I powered the device and tested with a customer, uh, we noticed that the, the screen towards don't block the sensor area. So this screen, because it's not fit on the frame, causing the sensor to sense something on the sensor. And that's a problem for the customer. So I had to open the settings and remove the pocket mode or whatever it's called. I forgot what it's called in this techno, but I has, I, I got it removed it. So for my past is to buy a new screen with a frame if it's not original. And if you want to not to buy it with the frame, I recommend you to buy it original. That's three important things I had to tell you. All right. And this adhesive of the battery took a long time to be removed. What was that? That's very... All right. I'm finished. Also, there is adhesive at the left side of the battery. There is two sides. One side you can remove it and the other side you can't remove it. You have to put some alcohol inside it. And after that, the adhesive will become soft. And after all, you will be able to remove it. Uh, again, I'm going to tell you some information about the battery. Always, always don't paint or scratch or hold the battery. Be careful. It could be explode. Very important. I'm working with cautions for about 10 years. So I know what I'm doing. You maybe can't see what I, you see, I, I'm not being careful, but I'm being careful. I know when to put force and I know when not to put force. You can see that adhesive we can't remove, just putting alcohol will help to remove the battery. All right, to remove the screen, we have just one flex cable and that flex cable unplug it and start now pulling the screen out. Pulling the screen out also it ha it took long time, especially when it's not broken. As I told you, all what we have or all what we need is a gap. In that gap, we can put something and start swiping or st start moving from all the edges. I'm hitting the screen with 256 degree to make or start pulling the screen but the screen is being stuck on that frame it's not it's not easy to pull it out so i'm use my knife from the top near the ear speaker to make a gap don't push too much otherwise that gap 
with the knife will broke and the glass will fly to your eyes. I'm wearing a glass. All right, we make a gap. When you make the gap, it will be easy to remove the screen. All right, this screen is too thin and the one I got from the market is too thick and that's a problem. I don't have the to measure the these, but we can told uh, the original is two millimeter and the non original is four millimeter. It's obvious there is difference. I don't know if I show it, I show it you in the camera, but do you see that black adhesive now in the frame? I removed it. So I I need every space to put the screen in. It doesn't fit correctly. Always it's important to clean all over the frame because any tiny piece of glass could break the new screen. Clean very fast and clean very well. All right, now I'm putting the screen to see what can we do or it's fit or not fit. You can see a gap there like the screen is on the air it didn't fit so this is not not good for me it's not good the customer will return and told me why the screen is not on the frame so I had to start removing that sticker Maybe we could use 0 0.5 millimeter and it's worth really it's worth and when you put black adhesive all over the frame again to put the screen it will not be noticeable so we are not lying to the customer he told he want the screen that called in sale with low costs and he didn't want the original one because it cost triple the price of the in sale screen so we did what he told me to do and we do it with professional not doing with a low cost we try to do our best and good job for every customer he came to our shop all right now maybe a little bit good I'm looking seems not bad so I tested the screen I tested the screen before and I'm not need to test it now I noticed some adhesive or rubbish or dust in this corner so I'm going to make they are clean enough to put the adhesive and put the screen down all right I think I'm good it's my position to start putting the adhesive all right all what you need to make a line a, a thin line all over the frame don't block the ear speaker area and the camera area and the sensor area I cut there you can see I cut there at the top at the right side I cut there because there is a sensor there all right that seems good I'm going to put wherever there is no adhesive and then I will put the screen I maybe put some more because the screen is not fit fit exactly with straight line with the frame so that's maybe I put 
more. All right, put it down and then put it on the bench. All right, connect that cable and then get the battery in. Put, ev put every piece as it was and then our job has been done. All right, I'm going to start to ending this video. If you have any questions, don't forget to comment down below. I will answer it as soon as possible. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to support our channel. Your support matters to us. All right, thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. We will do something else in the next video. Peace.